Eric Darling here with Darling Data Enterprise for Business Platinum 365. And uh, in this intentionally short video uh, where I am totally screwing up my green screen by having extra windows open that are, that, that are bright, <laughs> look, everything magically got better. Uh, I want to talk about a weird bug that I found in some client code recently that I have simplified down to this. <clears throat> now, I've got two tables created in my database. I've got a table called T, which you can see there is already an object named T in the database, and a table called TT, and there is already an object called TT, named TT in the database. It's a little funny that IntelliSense is freaking out about this one, but this one is like, nah, you're cool. But anyway, uh, I, I got an email from a client, and they were like, we've got this weird, something weird is going on with this, with this update statement. We can't figure it out, and uh, please take a look at it. And so they sent me the update statement, and of course I was, you know, <clears throat> I, was, I was up late writing demos the night before. And uh, I looked at the, the query, and I was like, well, that, that, how does that even work? <laughs> how does that do anything? I mean, your update, the update T, right, and you have an alias, and you're setting T.ID equals 1 from a table called TT, alias is TT. How is, how is this even doing anything? Like, what, what is happening? Send me the query plan. And so they sent me the query plan, and uh, I'm going to show you what this query plan looks like. Here, I'm going to go over here and look. And, uh, I mean... The object, obviously, the object called T in my database is there uh, with a column store index on it. That's that was that was my little cheat code for various things and and, and some some demos. But uh, I looked at the query plan. I was like, well, you've got two tables in there, and they were like, well, is it a foreign key? Is it a trigger? What's going on? I was like, no, no, there, there, there's a table <laughs> named the thing that you're updating, but you're still selecting from the wrong table you didn't alias the the second table correctly um, i guess they had some uh, an unnamed uh code completion and formatting tool that had aliased the table automatically for them and uh there was uh, it was unintentional there so i, I look at the query plan and i said well <clears throat> you, you're you're i mean it's weird that this even works right like it's astounding to me that this compiles and sql server is like cool no problem Got it. Like <laughs> all the reasonable things that I feel like I've written, where SQL Server's like, whoa, 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 back it up. We can't possibly do that. This thing compiles and runs. So uh, I, I, I sent them back a, a copy and paste of the query uh, done correctly, where we uh, we update tt and we set tt dot id equals one, and miraculously we got. A much more sensible, a much more sensible query plan that didn't involve any other tables in the database. So anyway, if there's a lesson here, uh, please pay attention to your aliases, especially in modification queries. Uh, you may find at various points that um, if you alias things incorrectly, SQL Server will throw an error. You may find in other circumstances that if you alias things incorrectly, you will muck up a lot of data that you shouldn't, <laughs> shouldn't have actually touched. Because uh, the way this thing used to be written, it would have actually updated the, the T table and you know changed a row to something. Wouldn't have changed the whole table because <clears throat> there is um, there is a what do you call it? There is a, uh, let's actually step back. There is some manual, oh, sorry, there's some automatic phase separation in this query plan. We've talked about this in prior videos. Uh, I, I talked about it with a hash join, but here we have a sort that actually does the, does the work that a spool would have done in, in, uh, in another plan. So you wouldn't update the entire table. You would just update one row out of there. So uh, isn't that nice? Anyway, like I said, intentionally short video blog fodder felt like recording it didn't feel like writing it um there are there are times when i love sitting down and writing blog posts typing things right taking screenshots and uploading them to wordpress and there are other times when gosh darn it it's just so much better to do a video anyway 
thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I hope you learned something. I hope you'll be very cautious with your table aliasing, especially in modification queries. And uh, if you feel uh, feeling generous today, if you're feeling like I really earned your time and attention, uh, you can like and subscribe to my channel. All right? Thumbs up and the bell thing. Anyway, uh, thank you again for watching.